Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I am at the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 workshop and we're going to be checking out the aerodynamic features of these two cars behind me. Let's start at the front of the vehicle and work our way back. Starting with the leading edge, we've got this large front splitter. What happens is you've got air flowing and it's hitting the front of the vehicle and it'll build up a high pressure area. You don't want that high pressure air going under the car because it'll create lift. So what this splitter does is it produces this parallel leading edge on the front and it tries to keep all that high pressure air moving over the vehicle and that high pressure air is also pushing down on it, creating downforce. On both sides of the front bumper, you've got these two dive planes. What these are doing is as the air comes in, they're redirecting the airflow upwards, helping to create downforce. They're also changing the airflow along the side of the car so that high pressure air isn't trying to move underneath the vehicle where you've got that low pressure air helping to keep your lift low and your downforce high. At the front of the vehicle, as our air flows in, we've got it cooling the two intercoolers as well as the radiator. You've got separate flow here also for the radiator, and then you've got a channel here for cooling the engine oil. There's also the two intakes on the right and on the left of the vehicle for the air intake for the engine. On the hood of the vehicle, you'll notice these air vents, so as you have air flow coming in through the radiators, it has a clean exit above the vehicle. You've also got these NACA ducts on the front and left side, which allows air flow into the cabin. So here we're looking at the underside of the hood. We've got the NACA duct where that air is entering, and it's going to be flowing through here, then entering this channel right here where it's going to flow in and help keep the driver cool. For cooling the brakes, we have this intake here, which channels the air through these hoses, which you can see behind the brakes, and then disperses the air around them to help them cool. You've also got your tire in here, which as it's spinning is generating quite a bit of turbulence, so you're going to allow that turbulent air to pass out through these side vents and move along the side of the vehicle. On the side of the vehicle, you'll notice these side skirts, which are in place to help prevent high pressure air from moving underneath the vehicle. You'll also notice they're vented. These front vents here are to help cool the catalytic converter, which is located just behind the front tire. And you've also got vents here to help cool the exhaust. And also at the very back of the side skirt, you've got these vents here to allow for airflow to flow through the exhaust, help cool it, and then back out through the side skirt. Underneath the car, you'll notice a completely flat and smooth under tray which is used to minimize drag and minimize turbulence underneath the vehicle. All of this air eventually exits through the rear through the diffuser, which is used to maximize the pressure differential between the top of the car and below the car. For more information on how this diffuser works, I'll include a link in my video description explaining it in further detail. At the rear of the vehicle, you'll notice this air intake here, which is feeding cool air to the transmission oil cooler. That air exits just above the rear diffuser. Here we've got our rear wing on the very back of the vehicle, which is helping to create downforce and keep the car planted in corners. It has 16 degrees of adjustability, allowing for more downforce or less drag. With all of these aerodynamic features, the car is capable of producing up to 1,000 kilograms of downforce at 200 kilometers per hour. This car is capable of holding 2 to 2.5 lateral Gs in the corners as well, which is about double that of most road-going cars. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And for more information and to see these cars out on the track, head over to Nismo's channel. I'll include a link in the description.